Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pair of earrings like these. Um, you can do any color scheme, but that's what mine will be looking like. First, you'll need two large matching beads, and you'll need four small matching beads, and the small ones are also called seed beads because they're tiny. So, next you'll need two head pins. So head pins basically just hold the beads in place, and they're what the, go, the beads go on. Um, and as you can see, um, they have a little thing at the end, and that just holds the beads in place. So you're going to thread the beads onto the head pin in the order that you want them to be for your earrings. Um, and you might have to get different si try it with different sizes, because sometimes the beads slip through the bottom, like those did. So, you'll just put them on. Okay, so now that the beads are on those, you're going to need three types of pliers. So you'll need round nose, and these are just because the tips are round. You'll need needle nose, and you'll need wire cutters. So, you're going to take the wire cutters and a little bit above the uh, a little bit above the top bead you're just going to cut the head pin short and so that will be your loop so you don't have any excess wire and to do that you will pinch the wire between the wire cutters and just kind of move it back and forth until the wire cutters pinch through this can kind of take a while so I'm going to pause it while I cut the ends off the head pins Alright, so I've got both of these cut, and now we're going to start to make the loop. So first, you're going to take the round nose pliers, and you're going to bend the wire that's sticking out into like a right angle. And then you will um, pinch this like at the end of the wire, and wrap it around, and that will make a loop. So. You'll do like so, and that will make a loop. You'll repeat it for the other one, and then just touch up the loops. And you're going to want to leave them a little bit open so that you can put them on the earring hooks at the end. Okay, so now that I have both of these in loops, I'm going to take the earring hooks, and I'm just going to thread this hoop at the end through this one. So it'll look like that. And then you're going to want to close up the loop on both ends. Okay, and now that I've closed the loops and done touch-ups, these are complete. And this is your final product. So congratulations! You just made a pair of earrings from scratch. Goodbye and have a great day everyone.